Deep down inside, we all know someone has to be up. Perhaps a build-up of emotions coming out at once. And I think it's just getting to me. I'm notoriously one to retreat in a moment of despair. I'm not playing any game at all. I don't bitch about people. I'm courteous to people. I wouldn't speak to people how they speak to me. I'm not one that can sit there and, and walk alone and, and think that people hate me and be okay with that. Big Brother Eviction Night Live. It is Ladies' Night and a 100% all-girl eviction is on its way. We've got a jam-packed show tonight. More house action than ever before. There's a task hanging in the balance and a superpower up for grabs. And we'll also be sticking with tradition by formally dismissing one of the housemates for good. Now, the guys are currently outnumbered, but tonight's eviction will even things up because one of the girls is going bye-bye. Will it be... Horse riding gangster Estelle. <laughs> what about bossy finger pointer Angie? <laughs> or Josh's lip warmer Ava? <laughs> All right, well, you've had more than a week to save your favourite, so let's see how the popularity contest is shaping up. We'll have a look at the graph. Ooh, OK. 15% votes to save is the lowest that we've got there. One of the housemates. Someone is in a lot of trouble. It could be your favourite. The nominees are still desperate for your vote and they're batting their eyelashes to get it. Hi, boys and girls. Uh, please save me. You haven't seen the best of Ava yet, so please, please keep me in the house and I promise to give you much more. Australia and the Brotherhood. As you know, I'm up for Nom Noms again and I'm really off it because I want to be here till the end. So vote now and save me like you did last time. So we've done it more than once. You've proved that you can pack a punch. So let's do it again and drive these housemates insane and keep me in here to not play the game. A little bit of Estelle's gangster rap there. Now, a question for you. What do chopped onions, a dog called Delilah, melted hair rollers and a pernickety puffer fish all have in common? Well, nothing really. Although they were all parts of the incredible week in the Big Brother house. <laughs> week seven in the Big Brother house. Poor Sam, this sucks for him. While Sam worked, the housemates played. Let me out of, let me out of, let me out of. But it was all for a good cause. You have passed the yeah! point. The new intruder, Delilah, left her mark. You've knocked Surly off the top spot, Delilah. How'd you feel? <laughs> Surly showed the housemates he was still top dog. Those stupid rollers that Layla wears. I want you to steal them. And then tonight, I want you to spark up the pizza oven and cook them. and Josh started the week deep in conversation. The captain's quarters received an unwelcome makeover by pirates. Help! I actually feel really bad for them. Ben won 
Spun a message from home. Hey Spun, it's just me. I'm so proud of you um, and who you are as a person and I'm so grateful to have you as my partner. Big Brother showed the housemates who's boss. Big Brother needs a small change collection counted. It's me, I need a count. Big Brother is having a sausage sizzle and requires your help preparing the onions. Report to the doghouse. Big Brother, I'm claustrophobic, I can't go in there. Layla's replacement rollers cost the housemates their luxury budget. I think we can get by on $220. I will just be very astute in the way that we um, add to our staples. Housemates showed off their talents. Abracadabra! Oh, Romeo, Romeo. <laughs> and at the end of the week, Ava and Josh, yep, still kissing. Oh, OK, I'll give you girls to it. endorsement or something coming for Josh or Ava. Now, the poor housemates got themselves all doled up for the eviction on Sunday, but sneaky old Big Brother was a no-show. Now, let's have a look at what's been happening in the house over the last 24 hours, where it seems everyone has been asking Big Brother, just when is this eviction? This place is weird. How can we still have all those girls in here? <laughs> yeah, Girls, seriously. I reckon this place would be a lot more harmonious. Just if we got some, rid of some of these girls. Just a couple. Just, Just a couple. couple. Funny, Just a couple. Funny little things. The Sunday eviction didn't happen, but the house is guessing it's only been postponed, and they're about to lose one of the three girls who were nominated. Ange, what? I'll make a deal with you. If you are still here tomorrow, mm. then you can have my Superman shirt for the day. If you oh, like. really? Yep. Thanks. That's if you're still here. Thanks, Bradley. If you're not, no, too bad. Well, duh. Yeah, but that's... See? Don't say that, you know, I do nothing for you. <laughs> you just wanted a reason to give me a kiss, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know me too well, Ian. You know me too yeah. well. He's a weird boy. Oh, yeah, I know. But that's it. He's just a boy. So you can't hold too much against him. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was really difficult when he, like, was first in here. Yeah. Just because none of us really... Connected with him? Knew, yeah, and, like, none of us really knew what to do with him. Like, we'd try and be, like, the mum role, and then, like, it was all just weird. But now he's sort of... We get him and he gets us. Can I? Yeah, answer it. Hello? For this week's task, housemates have been given $1,000 of Big Brother's money, which they have to get rid of by the end of the week by spending it on special offers phoned into the house. Any chance I might be able to have a quick word with Michael? Yes, yeah, certainly. I'll grab Thanks, him, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Big Brother residents. This is Michael speaking. Who am I asking I'm talking to? Hello, Michael. It's Neil here. How are you? Neil, I'm well. Yourself? Very well. Now, Michael, I just have to ask you something. Have you got a best friend in the house? Have I got a best friend in the house? Oh, well... A friendly friend. Oh, you're I friendly th with. Actually, I am. I am looking at someone that I'm particularly friendly with right now, actually. And uh, what's their name? That would be um, none other than the lovely Joshua. Do you ever think that at times you might want to be more, say, connected with your best best friend, Josh? I think he is the positive ion and I am the negative ion and we need to be more connected. Neil? Well, I've got a friendly product for you. Oh, you've got a product for me? It's a friendship bracelet, a Michael. Friendship a friendship bracelet? Friends. Oh, 
<laughs> Tell me more, Neil. You pretty much got me. For the friendly price of just $13, the friendship bracelet can be yours to share with Josh. Do we have a deal? Oh, 13 unlucky for some, lucky for Josh and I, because our friendship's just about to get a whole lot closer. Well, I will well, take it, Neil. The friendship bracelet is waiting for you in the storeroom. Have the best day, good old friendly Michael. And a sunny day to you too, Neil. You're, you're just fabulous. <laughs> See you, mate. See you, Neil. Ta-ra. <laughs> Pancakes. No. No. I want to die. Oh, I was. <laughs> yeah, we all are. I want a bicep diet. Oh. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? You're such an oh. <laughs> What's he Later. doing? What did he do? He just poured his glass of water in here. <laughs> why are he's, you doing that? He's wasting pancakes. Sorry. Now you got to start again because it's because it's cold. <laughs> Like, me and Sam always say that we'll hang out. Even if, like, nothing comes of us, just as mates. Yeah. Which is cool. That's even better, I reckon. Yeah. Do you know why? Because then you could still have some fun. Yeah. But then not be tied in, yet still, like, have a good friendship. Yeah. But it would be cool if there was a love, like, a fairy tale. Ooh, fairy tale, I think. I'm so into a fairy tale. Imagine if your job was bush poet. It'd be a pretty decent lifestyle. What do you do? Hit the trail. Bush poet. Hit the tan. So I sit with foot in log and Joshy's tied to hand. I lift my eye and wipe my brow and take in this sun-stroked land. Then Ange and Stell, Rebecca on. The love they had now waned. Because Ava came and stole her head. Something more had changed. That's not the type of girl she is. Yeah. Do you reckon if, um, if I still had the chance, she'd try and break me to Yeah, I was just thinking that. Did you tell her? Yeah. I just thought oh, you would never trust her with your boyfriend. No. No, no, no. no. I think she just wants no, no. attention. She can't have yet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Crystal ball, what do you say? This generally would be that I'm looking into the future, but we're looking into the past. Estelle, if Sam hadn't cultivated a relationship with Layla, do you foresee that there might be something more between Sam and yourself now in the Big Brother house? I say that I'm, it's possible. I was very much open to um, relationships in the Big Brother house, whatever they be, as long as they're positive and not stepping on anyone else's toes. So maybe I chose to take a back seat because my, you know, happiness is not always the most important thing here. So the answer is perhaps yes, but perhaps I chose to take a step back because I could see what was going on in front of my eyes and it was best to do that. My crystal ball is telling me that Estelle is a little bit cray cray. And the voting lines have now closed. So who will be tossed out by Big Brother's bouncers tonight? Find out when Eviction Night Live continues. What's been the most challenging aspect of being tethered today? Throw in the toilet. Tick. Done. Easy. Um, showering. Tick. Done. Look me in the eye. Swimming. <laughs> better. Done. Dusted. Easy. Michael, yeah. how have you felt being in close proximity to 
the affection that Josh and Ava have shared. word. Ill to my core? <laughs> no, 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 no. Welcome back to the Jumbo edition of Eviction Night Live. Let's check in with the housemates again, because if there's one thing guaranteed to cause trouble, it's who's doing all the chores and who isn't. The daily grind of any household is washing the dishes, and Layla has had enough. Yeah, but no one does. Michael believes he shouldn't wash up because he cooks. No, that's not what, how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so that means that Sam never needs to wash up ever again because he cooks. That's not how it goes. Shanique, I can feel Shanique were about to like... She's, I can feel... No, no, I can feel Shanique were here and she's about to... I'm about to spew her out of her face. Shaniqua is Layla's crazy alter ego whose outbursts only emerge in times of frustration. Whose is that? Whose is that there? My drink, Bradley! But I'm cleaning the dishes! Well, people always so leave stuff for So I'm going to go back to my drink in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Shaniqua. I can't take it in this house anymore. I feel like I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Come for a couple of cuddles with your boys. What, what tipped you over the edge, darling? <laughs> I seriously can't be around Bradley. through stages where I'm like, oh my god, I couldn't imagine being mean to him because he's like my little brother. He just gives everyone cheek and puts everyone down mm. and makes himself feel good. I hate it. This could go anywhere. take everything from you. They do, they take everything. Everything they can get their hands on. Then they claim it as their own. They start with your heart, Delilah. Yeah. Well, it, was your, it wasn't yours anyway. They start with your heart. Towards it. And then they take away your inhibitions and your ability to work, your ability to think. And then when they break it all, they blame you for it. Yeah. yeah. It's all your fault. Delilah. And then you get the stinking mailman dropping off some papers that say divorce. It's a dog. Okay. Oh. Michael, why do you have to do that with everything? What about the dog? You know? What about the, what about the dog? Why are you embarrassed to be associated with you, Michael? Yeah. If I could walk off, I would. <laughs> Housemates, you have one hour to get ready. For what? That is all. For what, though? For what? The housemates have prepped for eviction every night since Sunday. But Big Brother has been keeping when it will actually happen secret from them. Big Brother. Angie. Hi, Big Brother. Look, I'm just wanting to know what we're getting ready for tonight because if there's going to be an eviction, I'd like to wear my eviction dress um, and I'll also need to curl my hair. Whereas if it's just nominations, then I won't want to wear my eviction dress. So what are we doing with our suitcases? If there's an eviction tonight, we'll need to have our suitcases packed because mine's not finished packed. Oh my goodness, that sentence didn't make sense, but I think you get the gist. I'm now stressed. Don't be stressed, Angie. Okay. You have a full hour to get ready. But should I wear, like, do you get what we mean? Correction. 58 minutes to okay. get ready. So, as far as my outfit goes, if it's an eviction, I'll want to wear my eviction dress, but if it's just nominations, I won't want to wear my 
eviction dress on the nominations because that's just wasting an outfit. That's quite the pickle. Mm. I'm getting in there. I'm getting in there. I'll be right behind you. I'm getting and sitting. You coming? This is Big Brother. Oh, hi. Housemates. Yes. Listen carefully. Big Brother has some very important information for you. Tonight, it's a double. Double or what? Double or not? Double, double eviction. Oh, please. Double or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just I know, that's that. not nice. You big jerk. <laughs> it's another hit of this week's task, where housemates have been offered deals to spend a thousand dollars. In this double or nothing offer, housemates will bring the total spend to $650, but only if they can each drink a glass of Big Brother's special blend. Housemates, this super shot is full of health and vitality. It contains blended vegetables, liver, kidney and tripe. That's stomach lining to you or me. All housemates must take a shot and keep it down. What about Ava? Housemates. Do we have a sale for this double or nothing special? What about Ava? What about Ava? I'll happily have hers. Ava's a vegetarian and refuses to take part. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Housemates, that's no sale. No sale. This is me giving you evil eyes. We just, you keep telling us to get ready, spend all this time to get ready, and then we do nothing. It I feels nice to dress up, though, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but not when you're not telling us anything. I'm living out of a suitcase, Big Brother. So, are uh, any of us getting evicted tonight? I don't think Big Brother really cares about Angie's wardrobe issues and how are those housemates going to react when they learn tonight's eviction is happening in just a matter of minutes. Let's go live to the house where Big Brother is about to spring it on them. This is Big Brother. Hey, Big Brother. Housemates, in 30 minutes' time, there will be an eviction. <laughs> Fine. An eviction of pee and hand soup. Thank you for giving us time to prepare. Lucky I put on my good pants. <laughs> All right. Now, Estelle is a survivor of three nominations. In fact, she almost seems to be Teflon coated, but will tonight's eviction be the one that sticks? I nominate um, our good friend Estelle. Estelle? Estelle. Estelle. She it seems like a very big threat to me uh, to take out the competition. This is the fourth time I've been up. It's OK. No. What? Do I upset this time? Hey, you know what I mean? Like, I just if I had have been in a situation where I did something really quite bad... Yeah. Or was nasty. If I was nasty, I'd totally get it. If I was a bitch, I'd totally get it. I just believe that she loves to play the woe is me card. Yeah. I've come from the hardest background. I've overcome the most. I've, you know. I feel as though it is inevitable to be up for nomination, but it would have been nice for one week to not be in here with the possibility of leaving the Big Brother house. Brown dog. Little brown dog. Little chocolate dog. With your curious brown eyes. <laughs> you are not a cat unless you're wearing an excellent disguise. <laughs> little brown dog with a little vanilla puff on your chest. <laughs> it's good that when we got a dog, they gave us the very best. Little brown dog. We love you.
show. Welcome back to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. Let's go back to the house where we encountered the famous Oats a la Layla. Now get ready for the beautician's newest venture, Salon a la Layla. Yesterday, the housemates pleaded for Layla to be allowed to open a beauty salon in the house. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. And Big Brother has decided to grant their request. Oh, my God. Layla. Oh, my God. <laughs> salon a la Layla is now open for business. Yes. Client in yes, Salon Alalayla. Salon Alalayla. Even Sir is getting excited. Hey, Scott. Thank you, Layla. You're welcome. Your first thing, man. Um, I want to have like Tom Cruise haircut from Mission Impossible. Have you been doing this for a while? I have since I was 16. You know what I've been doing since I was 16? What? Being uncomfortable when girls touch my face. Yes, Bri. Brings out the natural hazels. Um, but just put as many lashes as you can fit on my eye. Yeah. So are you doing anything nice tonight? <laughs> oh, they look perfect. Oh, you don't Let's go to the full shebang, baby. Yeah, might as well while we can. Are you Obviously, you're probably not going to get time to do everything today. Do you reckon after you do um, Estelle's, you can just put those strips on my nose and then just leave it on and then rip it off like intermission? Yeah. Man, I love Layla. I think she's so sweet and lovely. The girls' eyelashes scare me, though. They freak me out. Like, while they're talking to me, they've just got these huge, big... They just don't look normal. They look like they've got to, gone to the show and... Got some show bag eyelashes in a Barbie show bag and then stuck them on their faces and they just look weird. Oh my god! How gorgeous does it look? Are you a firm? Oh Let's my god, your eyebrows look amazing! Oh so far, the housemates have spent $325 on offers from Big Brother. Their goal is to spend a total of $1,000, but the deals are getting worse. Benjamin, you are one lucky shopper. Big Brother is giving you the option to walk away with one of these two fantastic products. Will it be these extremely accurate, beautifully crafted, top-of-the-line digital bathroom scales for the knockdown price of just $1? That's right, just $1. Oh, no, or this is will it be this delicious brown onion to be consumed right here in the diary room for $10? Oh, you have a decision to make. Oh, Take a moment. <laughs> Big Brother is waiting. Um, I will take the onion. Yeah. Benjamin, that is an excellent purchase. Go right ahead. <laughs> I don't want to eat this anymore. No! Yeah! Come on! Come on, Benjamin! Come on, Benjamin! You've gotten so far! Oh, thumbs down. No! Okay, you ready? Estelle is the next housemate to be offered a deal. She's spending $19 on a tar and feathers skin treatment. That's awesome. Anyone want to lick me? One with like... Head back. Good neck things. Sorry. Oh, so cute. You look 
George were all first time nominees when they got the boots. So, will it also be one strike and you're out for Ava? I nominate Ava. 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 I see an aspect of her which is Ava and Josh. I see an aspect of her which is Ava and Estelle. But I don't really see who she is as a person just by herself. I'm going to be gone for sure. Hey, uh, there's no way you're going. Yeah. I freaking hope to gosh. Nah, yeah, I'll be gone. For sure. Don't say that. I'm happy that Sam and Ava have come in. Well, I'm happy Sam's come in. Ava's just a bit boring. She made Josh a bit boring as well. Yeah, that too. She's sort of taken Josh out of the action a bit. Yeah. The worst thing about being nominated is knowing that my storybook adventure could be coming to an end. I don't know how I'm going to feel if it happens. I just hope that it doesn't. Welcome back to a Mammoth Eviction Night Live. Now let's head back to the house and I don't want to shock you, but Sam has taken off his shirt. And He's doing furniture gymnastics. Oh, oh here we go. Shuffle. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Like, he's actually in the last time. It's a bed. Oh. Not ladies. No. Okay, well, I never do stuff like that. Miss Layla, how are you Layla. going to last until you leave? That's exactly what I just <laughs> said to her. I was like, hey. Zoe, are you at my point? I'm actually getting frustrated just watching People. them be frustrated. Benjamin is also frustrated by both Angie and Sam. I find Angie so annoying. She's just so loud and just all the time and I'm trying not to just yell at her because she's done nothing wrong I just think she's really annoying and Channing Tatum is also really annoying like <laughs> what have you brought to this house except being like a little plaything for Layla and for being a little bit of eye candy. Like, he's just a bit... nothing. Ava? Yes, honey? I've been watching. Meaning? Oh! Who's the doing? Come here! Come on. Michael and Josh are tethered together for the task, and it's starting to frustrate Ava. I just fully moisturise and stuff. I'll sit here. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh. Beg your pardon. No, I'm not doing it now. Oh, yeah. It's showing off in front of your boys. Yes, you are. Don't look. You were giving him a mental high five. I was not. He wanted to do nothing of the sort. My kind of girl. My kind of girl. I want to go. I actually want to leave. I do. Be strong. No, but it's not about being strong. Like, I don't need to do anything. Well, if it's any consolation, I've been attached to a fat redhead all day. Truth. Truth. 
Not fat. He's not fat anymore. I don't know what you were. <laughs> fact. Chicken Prince begs to differ. No, you're not. I chicken Prince I definitely, begs to differ. Fact. I wouldn't call you fat. You don't fact. have... You're not athletically built. <laughs> <laughs> but you're definitely but, not fat. Like, okay. I don't know I how you were before, but you're not fat. fat. And then you have, you know, Ava, who talks in code every time she speaks. Oh. What's the language, eh? Hey? She, she, she uses such long words. And I'm like, I don't care if you're smart. If you can say, like, yeah. yes yeah. to a question. Oh, no. You don't have to be like... Well, she, she's like a politician. That that could be her secret, uh, that she's like a member of a political party. Because she goes the long way around uh, a question and then comes back to the point and goes, in summary, yes, what are they burning? Back together mm. again with like the chain bracelet, mm. them hanging out. Michael's been so happy all day. Yeah. And then, you know, Ava just <laughs> disappeared. Mm. But yeah, it's so good to see them back being like, you know, just best friends again, just doing like dumb, crazy stuff. <laughs> Every 30 seconds, I think, why don't I just let these guys do it? And then I walk off and I'm like, oh, God's sake. I just think if some people left the house, it would be better. Really? I feel like the house has come to a point it's just stopped. Like, mm. we're not going anywhere. Mm. Because there's still people here up for eviction. We can't n n nominate until they go home. Mm. It's just... Oh. It's cool that Josh and Michael are back together again. He's a hopeless bromantic, that Bradley. Now, is Angie's name about to be taken off the guest list? Find out when the Big Brother party continues. Can I please nominate Angie? 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 Angie. Angie. I feel like last week uh, she was way too offensive, not defensive. Could be worse. You just need to see it as strategic nominations. People might have nominated you for strategy. It hurts. It makes you think, do people really want me out of this competition more than anyone else? Do you know what, what, what would be really cool this mm -hmm. week? If the eviction was a d double eviction. You're <laughs> <laughs> so mean, bro. <laughs> but I like it. Angie, I care about a bit, but she's so, like, up and down for me. It's hard to think that people that you care about and that you want to be in here with might just step on as many heads as possible to get to the end. To pass this task, all you need to do is spend it all. Boy, oh boy, does Big Brother have a deal for you. Get them while they're hot. Poached brains. Offering fully clothed swims. How do you feel about a brand new wedding dress? I want it, I'll take it! I'm gonna wear it all night! At least someone appreciates the dress. Hey Delilah. Night Live. Now, I can't believe Big Brother found a way to turn a shopping spree into a bad thing. This week, the housemate's task is to spend $1,000 on a bunch of stuff they never knew they needed. They haven't quite reached the magic grand just yet, but oh, I've got a couple of things on offer that might interest them. Should we check it out? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, housemates. Hi. 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 <laughs> so do you. Now, Josh and Michael, yeah. out here in the real world, we've just had two massive games of football on the weekend. Oh. Shut up, Sonia. The Aussie rules. 
And Rugby League Grand Final. So Josh and Michael, for a dollar... Nah. For a dollar. Oh. I'm prepared to let you choose as part of your spending spree task for a dollar, which big game you would like the results for, Aussie Rules or the league? I'll take the league. The league, all right. In an absolute nail-biter that went down to the wire, it was... The Wentworthville Magpies, who oh, defeated the Entrance oh, Tigers on. by two points in the NSW RL Seniors Second Division. What about that? No, I have no key for that sign now. <laughs> Tell me about my Cowboys. I didn't say which grand final. And I know grand finals this weekend. No, oh, right. this weekend. And what else this weekend? Oh, you are a sneaky yeah. peach. Just joshing. All right, now. Clever. Oh, <laughs> Get out of Seriously, guys, seeing as all the boys are safe tonight, Big Brother has asked me to make you a special offer. And this is serious. For $10 each, you can purchase a lovely eviction outfit to wear tonight. Who's interested? Me! I'll take it. I'll take it. Fantastic. All the boys are in. Then your lovely outfits are waiting for you in the diary room. I'll let you go get changed. They'll be horrible, horrible outfits. They're all Bradley sandals. Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 little ballet recital. Now, time is running out for one of our three nominees. When we return, we will find out who can stay at the Big Brother Ball and who will turn into an eviction pumpkin. The winner in Big Brother will receive $250,000 cash and a top-of-the-range Holden Cruise SRIV, the only small car built in Australia. Welcome back. Now, one of our three nominees will be evicted tonight, but another is about to be let off the hook. So let's cross live to the house and see how they're holding up. Oh, boys. You look beautiful. Could you stand up so we can see you properly? Oh. Bradley, could you show us your pirouette? Oh, Joshy. What's, what's a pirouette, Bradley? Oh, that's it. That's a from Jete, actually, <laughs> Sam. That's so good. Sonia, look at me. Oh, look at that. How about the spin, Bradley? Spin, Bradley. Spin. Bradley. spin. spin. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. Where's Delilah? Oh, look at Delilah. You've even dressed her up. Delilah. Did you see okay? Did you see okay? She looks beautiful, Stacey. Yeah. Delilah dressed by Hi. Stacey. All right. Where's Estelle? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Estelle. Hey, Sonia. How are you? I'm good. Now, you've been nominated four times. Four times, indeed. That's a record. Is tonight the night, <laughs> do you think? Yes. Um, I hope not. I hope we can cure Destiny's Child song. I'm a... Oh. Oh. Get it? They're, they're obviously a very popular band for the young people <laughs> these days. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Survivor, you're talking about, aren't you, Estelle? Yeah. You are. Survivor, you have been a survivor. Now, Angie, second time nominated for you. Yeah. Has it been stressful not knowing when the eviction would be? Yeah. You have no idea. I have grey hairs now and wrinkles that are going to be dealt with when I get out of here. Why? Why was it so stressful? I think just going through the motions of saying goodbye to everyone and, and walking around and being like, this could be the last night three times is a bit too much for me. Yeah, getting dressed and they're not Horrible. going anywhere. Just make up. This is an hour's worth right here. I'm hearing you, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, first Hi, time up. Hi. <laughs> now, first time up for you, what is your gut feeling? Oh, look, um, the two days prior to now, I had a really strong feeling that I was going, and now I feel like I've been in Groundhog Day, so my emotions are all, you know, like everywhere, all over the place. I don't know what to think. 
um, but I'm definitely really excited either way. Um, so yeah, happy, happy. And Ava, who are you dressed by tonight? Um, I'm dressed by a very special designer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Yo Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. It's a shirt. It's just a shirt, isn't it? It's a shirt dress, it's, it's I would say. <laughs> on you, on you, it's a shirt dress. That's, I think, I think that's the, I think that's the proper term for it. Well, it looks great. I think it looks, it looks cuter on you, Ava, than it did on yeah. Josh. No offence, oh! Josh. I just prefer you in a tutu. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I have the news now that you've all been waiting for. Oh my gosh, oh my And you've been waiting for an extra long bit of time this week. Yeah. So we're going to get on to it. The housemate who received the most votes to save them and who will be staying in the house is... It was worth getting dressed up, Angie. <laughs> All right. Ava and Estelle, one of you, I'm sorry to say, is about to be evicted. I will be back with you guys very soon. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Keep breathing, I'll see you soon. Okay. You're okay, sweetness. You're all right. Yeah. You're all right. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, what are you? Show me some. Up in here, we love you. <laughs> wow, Angie is safe. Two nominees left. One is a goner. I'm going to tell you who right after this. to this titanic-sized eviction night live. Let's cross to the house now where either Ava or Estelle are about to hit an iceberg. Through. Oh, oh, Stand up and turn around. Oh, oh, Hi again, everyone. Oh, that was fast. That was a little <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ava and Estelle. Yes. One of you is just seconds away from being evicted from the Big Brother house. Uh -huh. After receiving the least number of votes to save them, it's time to go. Ava. This is Big Brother. Ava, you have been evicted. You have 10 seconds to leave the Big Brother house. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Who 
caused a stir in no time at all. Let's welcome her right now, Evicti number six, Ava. about meeting you in person, Ava. And before we, before we chat, do you want to have a look and see at how, how Australia voted? Um, sure, why not? OK, we're going to, so let's bring it up. Here we go. Can you see that, Ava? Oh, got it. All right, so that's you in the middle on 14%, and the other girls... 14 seems to be a lonely number. Well, it's hard because you, this is what I want to talk to you about. You were the intruder, and that's a tough job. Oh, there's Angie, 48%. Yeah, and that's the, apparently the flight attendant. That's what they think I look like in the house. <laughs> you do a little bit. <laughs> now, is, is it hard because you were the intruder, Ava? Yes. What, what was hard about that? Why do you think it was tougher for you? Yeah, it, look, it was always going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, and I think the way that I wanted to tackle it going in is just to try and rid myself of that sort of, you know, label um, and just to be as true to myself as possible um, and just focus on not a game or a show per se. But... As if I'm in some kind of, on some kind of like Kentucky tour, sort of, you know, like holiday commune and just meeting people for the first time and, um, and just like making friends. So that's kind of how I was trying to override the whole intruder thing. Right, I've yeah. got you, I've got you. I but know, you were sorry, there for a shorter amount of time than yeah. everybody else. I mean, if we look at Angie and Estelle, they're yeah. eviction survivors, aren't they? So they why are. do you think that is? Well, I mean, they've had longer in the house, so people have had um, more time to actually warm to them um, and get to know them, um, so obviously they would have a following, and gee whiz, I mean, they're two amazing girls. I'm fans of theirs, so I mean, you know, it's understandable. Are you, are, you had a feeling, didn't you, that, you, that it would be you tonight? Are you disappointed, okay. though? Look, I mean, we always want a bit more time, but we can't have that <laughs> most of the time. Um, so I just really wanted to enjoy every moment um, and kind of try to live moment to moment um, and appreciate that. That's how I live my life normally. So I just wanted to have that focus. Yeah. Well, it's a strange old place, isn't it, the Big Brother house? And uh, sometimes it's hard to tell what people are thinking about you. So let's yeah. take a look at just who nominated you yeah. and why. No. Ava gets four points on my strategic vote. She holds back on multiple levels. She won't tell stories because she thinks they're too personal. I can't talk about it. And I think that's just a little bit silly coming into this house, being on national TV and not being able to open up. My second vote will be for two points, and that will be um, Ava. She's been here for two weeks now, and although I do feel like I get along with her, I'm not sure if what I'm getting is Ava. For two points, I nominate Ava, and that's because I believe strategically she's coming here and she's picked up Josh and I believe she's doing it to keep herself in the house with ultimate votes from the outside by the classic love story. Stop being in love! <laughs> love <a> love. <laughs> so Ava, did you think kissing Josh might keep you in the house? To be honest, going in, um, you know, I was asked or, you know, um, if I was after a love interest or anything like that. And anyone that knows me through and through knows that I'm just not that way. Um, I, I, it 
definitely took me by surprise, did not expect to like anybody in the house, did not see anyone as a potential, you know, love match or whatever. Um, so I am just as shocked and surprised as all of you. I promise you, hand on heart. We're going to get to the love story in a minute, but first of all, just looking at that nominations package, whose nomination surprised you the most? Um, I... Th- I don't, I'm not sure if I believe um, Zoe in like saying that, you know, um, my alliance, so to speak, with with um, Joshy was not authentic and that it was rather strategic. Um, I think maybe she just needed to vote and All right. said that. But yeah, Angie, I think, is the one that kind of took me a bit, I don't know. By surprise. Yeah, I mean, because Mikey as well, what he said, um, me holding back or whatever, I think. So all of them. Well, yeah, yeah, all of them. Okay. Well, someone who would never nominate you, of course, is Josh. And from the Don't moment, tell me he did. Well, no, 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 he didn't. Where is he? In fact, from the moment he welcomed you aboard, Ava, he was the captain of the love boat, wasn't he? Let's have a look. Hello, I'm Josh. Josh is an absolute gem. You know instantly when you have an affinity with somebody. It's something that happens quite naturally. Can I just say, she's right up my alley. I guess I am attracted to Josh. Everything just seems just really natural with Ava. It's a nice thing to have and it's pretty rare. <laughs> oh, no. You guys making out? 14 hours a day is actually a little bit uncomfortable. It may well be stirring the pot a little bit because it's really shifting the dynamics in the house. Josh and Ava swap beds. I'm now in the double bed next to you. This is Yoko Ono material. <laughs> Something's going on here, man. I don't like this. I don't like it. it used to be Hamish Nandy. Now Megan Gale's arrived. There is no Hamish Nandy. He spends his time walking around with a latched on like a clip koala kissing up. Do you have any opinions on Josh and Ava's relationship? Yeah. moment that whole time and forgot I was on like TV. (laughs) Did you? Did you? you? I'll be honest with you, um, like daft or not, I was completely unaware of cameras on me the entire time. Um, And that was that was actually, yeah, I don't know if that was a good thing. (laughs) No, but that's the funny thing I think about the Big Brother house. You start, other things start taking over and you do forget that the cameras are there. Do you think the fact that you spent a lot of time kissing and cuddling Josh is part of the reason that you're here now? Um, Quite possibly, quite possibly, Um, especially if you know, uh, right or wrong, good or bad, if the dynamics have shifted in the house, which means that we don't get enough of one of the characters that we enjoy or or, or whatever, um, then, you know, that could be the case. But what I appreciate about um, Joshy and myself is that it was completely natural. Um, and so, yeah, like... Will, will it be natural on the outside as well? Do you think you'll see each other? Well, I can speak for myself because I am speaking now for myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I can say for me, it was natural. Um, Is that a yes? Well, I yes mean, or no? Well, I'm Ava, yes or no? <laughs> them answer for me. What is this? Yes, all right, they say yes. Now, you are our princess, Ava, and you still wield some power over the big brother kingdom because Ava gets to decide who she's going to give this week's superpower to. We will have that for you and plenty more right after the break. We'll all close our eyes and not look at you. Your kisses are how but your hands are cold. You build me up inside like I'm 12 years old. I want to be your only, but you can't be told. That's enough. Welcome back. 
back to Eviction Night Live where Big Brother has just revoked Ava's housemate licence. Now, Ava, you had the housemates convinced that you were hiding something. Yes. Were you? No, not that I was aware of. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, everyone had some kind of secret that they needed to um, divulge in the house and I wasn't assigned that, so no. no. No, but there was a conversation in the kitchen where you said that you you had a certain sense of entitlement, that there was a status that you... Oh, no, um, no. That, that you know was part of the the circle that you moved in, and I think yeah. the housemates were thinking you were a pop star. And yeah, well, the thing is, there's and they were convinced that I was some kind of princess as well, like I was some kind of royal as well. There's so many conspiracy theories like brewing in the house, and it's not from lack of stimulation. I think it's just because it's just fun to. So, so you're not famous in Ukraine? No big secret? No, I'm not famous in the Ukraine, although Layla would love it if I was famous in Ibiza. Oh. She would <laughs> yes. go yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so why did you say that then, just out of interest? I didn't, say, I didn't say that I was famous. No, but that you enjoyed a certain status. What no, did no. you mean? Oh, no, um, the conversation was just centred around like where we were from and all that so what we were used to um, I don't remember what the source of the conversation was because there was that many conversations going on in the house mm -hmm. um, but I think it just got taken like, it was just a runaway train Like maybe they were just it thinking it was very passe, there was like nothing to it right, right, but yeah. they were still in secrets mode yeah. thought there was so just... then um, Stella and myself were actually laughing um, afterwards um, I don't know if you remember that, but because everyone was just so busy with their conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. and, and Stella's like, just let it run. Yeah, why not? You now, know what I mean? As an intruder, you, you needed to work twice as hard as everybody else to prove yourself, and unfortunately, yeah. some people didn't think you worked hard enough at that. So let's have a look. Oh. I feel more like the newbie as opposed to the intruder, which is really nice. <laughs> These moments remind me simply this, that I am alive and I love it. Ava's a funny one because I don't think I'm actually getting anything of substance out of her. She's um, a bit of firecracker. Ava was like, I'm woken up with Stell and Josh. Everyone else, go away. I think she's fabulous. I've said it out loud to her and other housemates. We've got some bad news. There's no tofu. No one thinks of me at all when it comes to food. Now you listen up, little tofu lover. <laughs> you listen good. I think she's a glass of warm water in a cocktail lounge. You know, it's probably good for you, but you're going to be looking for a Mai Tai, I think. No, like coming out of the house, I mean, I adore Mikey. Um, I think his kind of take sort of sticks in my mind at the minute. Um, well, you took Joshy away from him for a little bit, so, well, you know. I, think, I don't know. Maybe he's feeling a little bit unloved, so he just wants to, you know, have a little go. But <laughs> I don't know. Do you think, seeing that all back now, do, do you think, do you wish that you spent less time with Josh and Estelle? Not at all. Um, you know, this was going to be asked of me, um, you know, do I have any regrets? Could I have spent the time, you know, better? Could I have done this or that? Um, I'll say flat out, no. I did my best. Um, I tried to be as my, you know, as much my authentic self mm. as possible in a completely artificial environment. Um, and that's... Not completely artificial because there was tofu. Well, there was. Which is very natural. Which, and is, which is very natural, which um, Stace really thoroughly enjoyed trying to throw over. Well, there were tofu issues in the house. I wonder if you knew about this. Let's check it out. I basically went a bit crazy and then chucked a tofu over the fence, but it failed and it hit the fence. Stacey! <laughs> Wake up yourself! <laughs> I threw the tofu, but it failed! Part of this. She broke up the Beatles. She broke up the Beatles, but 
You killed the tofu. Yeah, I'm going to go to hell. The tofu. <laughs> What possessed Stackers to do that? Oh, I don't know. She's a little bit nutty that day. But um, it was really, really funny um, because she came up to me after. She was really remorseful. Like, she actually got me and, like, sat me down and she was really, like, serious and, like, almost, like, on the verge of tears, it would seem. And she's like, you know, I've got something to confess to you, la, la, la. Like, she actually took me away from everybody to sit like tell me that and I was just like dude like it's okay. okay. Tofu gate, tofu gate. All right well each week we ask you to go online and vote for your top three moments from our nominated housemates time in the house. The public have voted and here are Ava's KFC top three so good moments. <laughs> Brother.com.au and vote for our new nominees. So good moments. They'll be up on Thursday. Now, Ava, the nom <laughs> oh, sorry, and <laughs> come back. The nomination superpower has been used in quite devastating ways, really. It's a huge advantage. So heavy lays the crown, as they say. Heavy, heavy lays the crown, as they say. Exactly. The big question is: who are you going to give that nomination superpower to? Screaming pole? No. Got to do it. We're out of time, Ava. It'd be Sal or Josh. Really? One or the other. Can't be both. One or the other. Oh, yeah. Sal, I don't, uh, Who needs it most? I think... I reckon... Look. Spit it out. I don't know. <laughs> Sal was really upset and whatever, and I don't want to put any undue, like, stress on her. I reckon Josh will be able to cop it on the chin and just, like, get it done. So... So you're thinking Estelle? I don't want to... I don't want to influence you. I don't know. Um, look... All right, we are really out of time, Ava. Josh or Estelle? Josh or Estelle? Josh or Estelle? I'll just give it to Estelle. Estelle! Estelle has the nomination superpower tomorrow night. Just quickly, who do you want to win? <laughs> Stella <or> Josh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's have a look back at your time in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Ava. She's so hot. She's gorgeous. Ava's hey, like automatic ten. The moment I saw how good looking she was, I was like, okay, here we go. Do we need to become best friends? <laughs> the Ava. The more time I'm spending in the house, the closer I'm getting to housemates, and it's almost like the outside world is what seems alien to me now, as opposed to what's going on in here. Ava, earlier you were speaking without your microphone. Oh, she's going to sleep. Report to the naughty corner. Please, big brother, please let me out. What am I doing? A local footy team need their jock straps hand washed. You may not leave the naughty corner until Big Brother is satisfied. Oh. <laughs> With eight points, Ava. <gasps> In here, you are challenged to cop it on the chin when things get rough. It's time for who I am. My Big Brother experience has tested who I am and what I'm made of. This has been an adventure. What more could you ask for? 
was short, but I hope it was sweet. Thank you so much for being part of Big Brother. Please thank Ava. And make sure that you join us tomorrow for another monster-sized show when the housemates take the gloves off and duke it out in a new round of nominations. And Estelle has the superpower. It is going to be a night to remember. I'm Sonia Kruger. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.